My name is Ken Christian. I'm running for mayor of the city of Kamloops. I've served this city for 37 years as a health officer and uh, I, during that time, spent 18 years as a school trustee on the Kamloops Thompson Board of Education. Eight of those years as the chairman. I switched over to municipal politics and uh, was a councillor for six years and have been mayor since the by-election in 2017. Well, my vision uh, that I'm using for this campaign is uh, making Kamloops better for your family and for mine. And it's really about livability. It's about making this city and all the things about it that we cherish really enshrined and, and uh, it, there for everyone forever. Uh, the CAM plan, the uh, focus on parks and recreation, the focus on healthy lifestyles are really what my campaign is about. You know, uh, I've often been quoted as saying that Kamloops is uh, emerging from a resource-based economy to a learning and knowledge-based economy. Thompson Rivers University is integral to that transformation and, uh, you know, the uh, students that are here uh, come from everywhere, uh, certainly uh, many of them from the Kamloops Thompson region, but also from around British Columbia, Western Canada and international students. So you uh, be become a part of our city. You uh, create that mosaic and that diversity that we value in Kamloops. So uh, I think we need to work closer with this institution and during my term as uh, mayor I've uh, instituted a memorandum of understanding with the former president Dr. Alan Shaver that really articulates how I see and how he sees the university and the city cooperating. Things like the law clinic, things like the Kamloops Innovation Center, uh, the multiple use of the uh, Tournament Capital Center examples and we want to do more in terms of integrating uh, students and youth into the fabric of our city. You know, uh, everybody is uh, focused right now, especially at the uh, fall and the startup of school and university on uh, public transit. I think we need better integration between our school bus fleet and our, our transit bus fleet. I think we need to make sure that the next ride technology that we have on board our buses is working properly. And we need to use transportation demand management to take people from where they live and where they work to where they go to school. And, and uh, I think uh, making sure that we have the right equipment on the right schedules at the right times of day is really important in terms of public transit. But beyond that, I think that we need to look at active transportation. Uh, things like uh, walking and bicycling and making sure that the infrastructure that has largely been uh, car and truck dominant will accept uh, more pedestrian traffic we have uh, pedestrian places, pedestrian malls, the new uh, track between uh, the Peterson Creek uh, trail system uh, that will allow access between the TRU precinct and downtown Kamloops I think is integral. And when you walk you're healthier and, and uh, I think that Kamloops should really embrace walking and getting about in this beautiful environment. You know, Kamloops has an affordable housing issue. Uh, from uh, my staff, they tell me that we're about 2,000 units short. And that's across a continuum, everywhere from dealing with the issues of the homeless uh, populations to uh, supportive housing, subsidized housing, and uh, then eventually into uh, early home ownership. But I think what we need to do as a city is to start opening up more facilities in conjunction with operators. And we've been quite successful in doing that. And as those units come on stream, uh, they will uh, create more space for uh, people to uh, move uh, into uh, particularly student housing and seniors housing housing and that should take the crunch off uh, but we need to work with partners the city and municipal government aren't the providers nor the operators of housing but we facilitate good housing projects in our community so you know things like the uh, new uh, facility admission flats things like the reach development right here on campus are examples of either end of the spectrum and I think uh, good cities make sure that people have addresses that they can afford 
You know, uh, CAMLOPS, as I said, has uh, switched from a resource-based economy, largely in and around forestry, mining, agriculture, to one now where we're embracing uh, the knowledge sector and uh, the learning economy. Uh, so things like the tech sector, uh, providing uh, more space for small business, uh, more integration with universities and with research, uh, focusing on healthcare, uh, those kinds of things will be uh, pretty important and going forward. But we have a, a serious underbelly and that's the opioid crisis uh, that is very real and very evident in Kamloops. So uh, we as a city need to work with our uh, partners in uh, mental health and addictions as well as with the police force and bylaws to ensure our streets are safe and that we can feel comfortable here as students and as citizens. You know, uh, I've been fortunate over my career to have many uh, professional achievements. Just this last year, I was made a life member of the Canadian Institute of Public Health Inspectors. I've received uh, tops in technology awards from the applied science technologists and technicians of BC. But my biggest professional achievement is being a professional husband and a professional dad. My wife, Brenda, and uh, my children, uh, Nick, uh, John, and Taryn, are truly my greatest uh, achievements.